Welcome to this place, just as you are. Welcome to this community, where you may find a place of comfort. Welcome to this service, where you may find a time of rest. May you leave here with a tiny piece of something that you need. Our invitation to this service this evening comes from the book of Mark. Jesus told his disciples, weary from travel and grief, let us go into the quiet place. We will find rest and nourishment. Here in this quiet place, let all who are grieving and all who are weary find rest and nourishment for their souls. Let us pray. Holy One, at a time when most are full of joy and anticipation, it can be difficult to admit to others that we do not feel the same. At a time when the air is full of song and laughter, it can be difficult to acknowledge that our own songs and laughter seem empty. At a time when plans and lists help others prepare for celebrations, it can be painful to realize that the plans we had made have to change. We look to you for strength, for peace, and for love. Amen. Christmas for many is a time of celebration as we remember the story of Jesus' birth. Usually when Advent begins, we embrace the beginning of the season for celebration, filled with to-do lists, baking, anticipation, invitations, and gifts. As the month progresses, we, begin, we become increasingly busy shopping and baking and visiting in concerts. Yet this time of the year, something is different. We may find it difficult to find our place in all of the commotion. For some, loss of employment, a change in our housing situation, an addiction or mental illness, or a rift between loved ones, or the passing of a family member or friend has forced us to look at Christmas from a different perspective, often one filled with pain. Maybe instead of identifying with the anticipation and excitement Mary may have had about the upcoming birth and joy she shared with Elizabeth, we instead notice her fear. For she must have felt fear, being young and unwed in a time when being pregnant and not married would have led her to a life of poverty, shame, and rejection. We notice now her grief, grief over the loss of her best laid plans to have a joyful marriage, to move into a new home built by Joseph, for the children they would have. We notice her anger at being forced to set out on a journey long and treacherous, just as she is about to give birth. We join Mary in declaring, it wasn't supposed to happen like this. This wasn't what we had planned. We acknowledge the range of emotions that Mary may have experienced. We understand why she may have felt them, and we offer her our acceptance for having all these feelings. Then we look at our own lives. We must give ourselves permission to feel whatever we are feeling, grief, fear, anger, and more. Let us offer acceptance to one another and to ourselves for the full range of emotions that we carry through this season and beyond, knowing that God accepts all of our emotions as well. Give peace to every heart. Give peace, God. Give peace. Tonight, we offer light, which touches our senses in many ways. Let us rest in God's love as we light candles and receive words of Scripture. The candle of love, 1 Corinthians 13. If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanging cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and can fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have a faith that can move mountains but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardships that I may boast but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. 
It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It, does, it is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrongs. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It's always protecting, always trusts, always hopes, always preserves. There is faith, hope, and love, but the greatest of these is love. We light a candle for love. Love we have experienced, love we have shared, love we continue to carry with us, love with, we no longer feel reciprocated. Give peace to every heart. Give peace, God. Give peace. Candle of Loss. John 11, 33 to 35. When Jesus saw Mary and the mourners weeping, he was deeply moved in spirit and troubled. Where have you laid my friend Lazarus? Come and see, Lord. Jesus wept. We light a candle for loss. Loss that we have experienced. Loss that we have shared. Loss that we continue to carry with us, heavy and painful. Give peace to every heart. Give peace, God. Give peace. We light a candle for strength, the strength of bonds shared, the strength it takes to carry on, the strength we need to find hope in new days. Give strength to every heart. Give strength, O oh God, give strength. The Lord is my strength and shield. My heart trusts in God, and God helps me. My heart leaps for joy, and with song I praise my God. The light is the strength for all people, a fortress of salvation for the anointed one. A candle of hope. At least there is hope for a tree, Job 14, 7. If it is cut down, it will sprout again, and its new sprouts will not fail. We light a candle for hope. Hope that we offer each other. Hope that as we hand you our pains, you understand. Hope that as in days to come, we can live a little lighter, knowing that you carry our burdens with us. We hope that we may feel joy again. Give hope to every heart. Give hope. Oh God, give hope. We light a candle for joy. Joy in our deepest depths. Joy of our daily tasks. Joy for celebrations. Joy free from guilt and pain. Give joy to every heart. Give joy, O oh God, give joy. Luke 1, 41 to 45. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greetings, the baby leaped in her womb, and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. In a loud voice, she explain, exclaimed, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the child that you will bear. But why am I so favored that the mother of my Lord should come to me? As soon as the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the baby in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed is she who has believed that the Lord would fulfill his promises to her. We light the Christ candle, John 8, verse 12. Jesus spoke again to the people, and he said, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk in darkness, but will have the light of life. We light a candle for Christ, light of lights. Embrace us with your love. Fill us with your strength. Enfold us with your hope. And permeate our being with your healing joy. Amen. Give peace to every heart. Give peace, God. Give peace. Creator of holy peace, quiet our anxious souls and console our grieving hearts. We are grateful for your gifts. May your healing presence be felt as we move through the motions of this season. Let us be anchored in you always. Amen. Advent is a time to wait. 
Not quite time to celebrate. We've lit the candles one by one till the Advent time is done. Christmas Day will soon be here, a time for joy and a time for cheer. Take time in this space if you need. And then when you are ready, you are invited to quietly move outside as we light the memory tree. As you leave this place, be reminded that you take this community, the feeling accepted and validated in your grief. May you feel the love of God, the presence of Jesus, and the strength of the Holy Spirit with you now and always. Amen.